Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to use the standard results which we have learned in the previous video. And based on that, we would be doing the problems. Not only that, we would be learning few new formulas using the trigonometric functions. So what are the integration formulas of those? The proofs of this, and, uh, like I would be doing it separately. For now, we are going to take the formulas as it is and we are going to do the problem. So let's start with the problem. It is a type 1 where the problem is based on integral k f of x dx where k is going to be a constant. In that case, we would be taking out the k out and then we would be integrating the rim, uh, integral f of x dx. So let's look into this. So here when you observe in the first problem, you are able to observe 4 is going to be that k. So in that case, I'm going to take 4 out and then I would be integrating x power 5 dx. So when we are integrating x power 5, it is of that first formula category, that is the power 1. So where I have n is equal to 5, in that case, I would be having 5 plus 1 divided by 5 plus 1 plus c. I would be getting. So obviously, here would be a question. Whether the 4 is getting multiplied with C? Yes, it is getting multiplied with C. Because when I integrate here, I would be getting something. Let me just rewrite it. So, actually what is happening when I integrate here? 4 into, I would be getting x power 6 by 6 plus C I would be getting. So, obviously, 4 is getting multiplied with both the terms, which is inside the bracket. But when a constant is there, when a 4 is getting multiplied with that, I would be getting another constant. Let's suppose C is 3, then I would be getting 12. C is 2 means I would be getting 8. If it is 4, I would be getting 16. Whatever it is, it's still an a constant. It's an integration constant. So it, uh, so, it doesn't matter. I can write it as a capital C there. Stating that when I multiply with C, I would be getting another constant. So, now here, I'm sorry, it is 6 here. Then in that case, it would be getting cancelled. We would be getting 2x raised to the power 6 by 3. So, this is going to be my answer for this first question which we have. Let's move on with the second question. We have integral 2 times of sin x dx. Now here when I observe 2 is acting as a constant k and then I would be taking it out and then I would be integrating sin x dx. What is the integration formula of sin x? It's going to be minus cos x plus c. So I would be writing it as 2 times of so it is going to be minus cos x plus c. I can write it directly because it is understood as I told you earlier. It's going to be minus 2 cos x plus c. This is going to be your answer. Now the third one. We have integral 3 raised to the power of x plus 2 dx in this case. Just observe my power is x plus 2. When do our powers get added up? When the base is same. So I'm going to use that particular property that is 3 to the power x into 3 square dx. So in this case, when you observe 3 to the power x, okay, we have to integrate. But what about 3 square? It is 9. So it's a constant. It's coming out. And I have 3 to the power x dx. It is in the format of integral a to the power x dx. So, which is going to be 9 into 3 to the power x divided by log base e of 3 plus c. Okay. So, this is going to be our answer for the third one. Now, fourth one. We have half of secant square x dx. So just observe here, half is going to be the k constant. I'm taking it out. I'm left out with integral secant square x dx. What is the integration of secant square? It is tan x. So half of tan x 
plus C. So that's gonna be my answer for this one. So this was under type one when we have a problems based on this. Now we are going to see about type two, which we did yesterday. Um, in previous video we have done, and then one more is using logarithm because I was not able to cover the logarithmic problem, so even that would be getting covered in this type two. So that we will look into look in next video. Thank you.